<laughs> Damn, you, you, really, you really just said I'm fucking Spike from Tom and Jerry? Wow. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Christian Provato. What the fuck said we're gonna get to? P305 versus Pond, Inkling versus Palatina. This is not, I don't think this is one of, I think this is even, but I think if, if there's anyone that it favors, it's definitely Palatina favored. Just because Palatina is definitely the better character of these two. And that's not saying much. There aren't too many characters in this game that are better than Paolo, anyways. Isn't she like top ten, top five, arguably? Five, yeah, no, top five, arguably. An arguable top five, definitely top ten. Absolutely, Palutena is one of the best characters in the game. Like, just so consistent, so solid, and even at, even after her nerfs, she still has one of the best neutrals in the game. The main oh, thing that uh, the main thing that E three is. Gets the bit oh, no. no! He choked the punish and he's gonna die for it! So the gulag with you, my friend, you should have just started charging forward smash. Oh no. Oh, he, 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 he does get the it's kill, the... but I, unfortunately I don't think he has to he has to lose, lose that stock. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It'd be like that. They both sure? at late percent, so if you were gonna lose the stock, you might as well have been not, been then. And now I get it early. But it's also like it's also that mental factor too, because like there's like, oh, absolutely. Uh, especially when you like choke up on the ch on the punish like that, it can honestly be very, very mental. Oh, Ooh, beautiful conversions at eighty nine. That was a beautiful set of conversions right there. Good stuff. Is any if there's anything that Inkling is known for is their ability to just rack up percent. They may not be able to kill, but their damage output is crazy. Oh no! Of course, their damage output is crazy. Just a, just that fucking gun alone. Just the fact that it's so easy to, in, like, just for ink to get onto the opponent. Oh, absolutely. That freaking ghetto nerf super soaker looking thing. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that's, that's what we're calling it today. Oh, no, you couldn't recover. I guess the jump got taken when uh, he got, uh, whatchamacallit, when he did that little up air thing, and then uh, Pond decided to go a little low to mix up the recovery. Hmm. Very interesting, though. I don't think Pawn realized it until it was too late. Oh, no, for sure. In that situation, sometimes you just don't realize that you have a jump. And when you... If, like, in, it's You don't want to waste your jump trying to find out if you have one. But when you don't, oh, when you realize not. you don't... Like, you just have to have that awareness. But it's, oh, it's yeah. definitely oh, possible to... Just keep track of your jump without actually, um, like, using it. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Come on, now. Huh? Oh, it, it takes a lot of time to get used to where uh, once once you master it, it's, like, second nature. Like, it's crazy. Absolutely. It's like, the, when you have a character like Palutagen that has mobility, but when she has a very exploitable recovery in the teleport, because teleport recoveries are still exploitable, or at least someone, it's like, you have to learn... Oh, guess the nail oh, finally gets the kill wow, at 168. That, that looked weird. Good. <laughs> Good at 168 plus Nair has uh, Ooh, some sort of I knock like yet? Mark. I like that attempt to check the technique Ooh. by B3 by Just, B3 with the roller. I that was that, was, that was very nice. Touches. That would have been really sick. All right, now I'm inkling in the late game, 92 percent. I'm looking for a roller right about now. Yeah, no. I would say that, but you also don't, you don't want to be too predictable. Oh, of course not. Definitely don't fucking oh, fish for it. Right there. Yeah. Oh, boom, boom. I don't know why he did up smash there. That, that, that was not the option. I think he got two, honestly, he definitely got two loss in the sauce and the momentum there. No, honestly, no, no, no. I'm going to have to disagree with you right there because notice how close he got in with the, when, when he got the roller, notice how close he was moving right in front of Palatina, right? The forward smash wouldn't have worked. They were actually went through them. So the up smash was definitely the right choice because because Inkling was so close to Palatina at that point in time. The forward smash would have just straight up missed. So that was actually a rather decent smart choice by B305 to like have the situational awareness to know where Inkling was when the roller got I'm connected. That the F smash was bad. That wasn't an F smash. That was an F smash. Oh, oh, me dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind. That's what Forget I was I talking anything. about. Forget I say anything. 
yeah, no, it's like he definitely got lost in the momentum in that situation because he thought he thought he was making a comeback and then. <laughs> be like that. Sometimes you, just, you have to understand, like the one of the most important things to understand as a player is that you have to learn when to cut the momentum or like when when to cut the advantage because you want to keep going and going, but. The most important aspect is that you have to understand what the cutting point is because when you because and when you get too lost in an advantage state, you overcommit, and then that's no good. I, I agree with that to an extent. I don't feel like it's more so like actually like cutting the momentum completely. More so like transitioning to back to that state of neutral where neither man has the advantage because once you kill off your momentum right completely then you put yourself naturally at this advantage i feel like it's more better for the player to learn how to adapt going from that advantage state to that sort of neutral state with a little bit of stage control here and there so you're not wow what the fuck and all of a sudden i forgot exactly what i just said um Oh yeah, okay. oh, yeah. Um, pump, pump, pump. That I can't speak. Help me, pump is Rob. <laughs> so Rob, um, still a excellent character, definitely, and another debatable top, debatably top ten character, to be honest. I give him a top fifteen every row. Rob is an uh, excellent character, super good projectiles, super good boxing options. And, oh, absolutely. And such, oh, gets the roller. Uh, Here we go, Travis the arm smash. Not bad though. That would have killed Palutena, but uh, Rob's a Rob's a big boy. Yeah, Rob's a decently sized boy. So now it's the Nerf Super Soaker versus the Beyblade. Who you got? Beyblade, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> On it, yeah, no Gyro. Rob is just uh, such a better character than uh, than um, Inkling. And to be honest, it's like Rob as a character. Um... Just feels like they control more that better than Inkling. Oh, that's, that's, not good. Star, dude. that's gonna cost you the stack. Absolutely. You know, Beautiful pieces on B three or five. Still has those predictable options though, so you can't. You obviously, Rob may. It may not like people say, "Oh, Rob's brain dead," but like, oh no, no, no oh, character. Oh, no, Rob. No character in this game is a brain dead character in my opinion. Shit. And oh, oh, is, is that a, is that a bad take? That's not a bad take. Little Mac. Not really. I mean, you gotta yeah. have some form. You gotta have some form of patience as a Little Mac, dude. Honest. Ooh. Who the hell took that line? <laughs> um, Peanut. And you say what you want about Peanut, but he went. He wins tournaments against yeah, players that are PGR. Fair enough. So, so I, I, I'm I, not. I, I'm not gonna like him too much, but. You you gotta give him some credit, man. I know you don't like the guy, but you gotta give him at least some form of credit. <laughs> definitely, give me, definitely give me credit where credit is due, but fucking ninety percent of the little Mike interactions are just for, because of fucking train two cans and he gets away with it. But I digress. Uh fifty six one hundred and three. Yes, I don't I don't think Eagle needs to roll out this percent anymore, just more so get a grab because uh B three oh five has been rely on uh never mind. B three oh five has been rely on roller to get the fucking to get the free kill. And it's kind of been getting predictable, so you might want to switch it up with a grab or two at like a hundred. Speaking of predictable side bees, uh, that listen, I, I I love the spin as much as everybody. I went out this oh man, gyro combos, <laughs> gyro combos, baby. The gyro combos, good lord. <clears throat> ah yes, let's give let's give a zoner one of the best one of the best poking tools in the game in down tilt. Great, awesome. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, Ooh, beautiful job lock conversion. <coughs> First the forward smash, that's not going to do anything. That forward smash is not that strong. Surprisingly, it gets the roll and you would get a good old paintbrush Bowser Jr. style smacked in your face. That's it. Uh, B35 takes it uh, to all. No, no Lucy. It's fine. It's <laughs> <laughs> I 
in a roll. The roller tech chase okay. is uh, silly. It's uh, it's it, it's really it's really good. Copy. Nice. Copy. Copy. I'm changing my name. I'm changing my name to Brock Spot. No, no, no. That won't be necessary. Hell yeah. It, it, it'll be funny. Susano. Susano's been... Becoming a basically a bit of an anomaly here in recent Tiamat. Man's just fucking hauling ass. Yeah. 